M0 FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Radtail RT880G. This is the APRS and GPS model. You can download the software from this link here that I provide in the description. Just scroll down and I am running the latest firmware, which is 1.6a, just here, okay? And uh, you've got this firmware, but the firmware I've got on, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Programming software is 1.03, just here. So it opens up and you've got several tabs, but the first one I tend to go to is the channel tab here. And to put in a channel, I've put all these ones here. Now, these are just for your receive and transmit channels, not your HF ones. So if we go into HF mode, you'll see I've added a couple there in a second. And I've got channel names that boot up. And you can see it says 40 meters, 7 megs. So we just exit. And the way you do that um, is when you're in the FM radio tab here, you just here, look, you select your range. So we're in between 2 megahertz and 30, but there are other ranges for broadcast radio and long wave is it short wave anyway and then you can put the name here look uh, and then you'll get rid of that chinese writing but anyway back to channels but that's the middle antenna which will always be receive only you're never ever going to transmit in upper sideband or lower sideband on this radio but it does receive airband we've got one in here i've got my a couple of repeaters an air gb3 wr so all you do is type in the frequency of receive so we'll go one four five dot six hundred then the transmit, so we go 145.100 for GB3WR. Uh, then put your tone here on the right hand of the frequency, which is 94.8. Like so, set your power, and then here, just put your name, GB3WR. Uh, to read and write the radio, you need to make sure you've selected the COM port. So all you do is at the top, just go program and then select port. Mine's COM3. And how do I know? You right click on your device manager, Windows squares here, right click, go up, select device manager. I know you couldn't see that, but it said device manager and then ports. And there's the port. Mine's running at 115200. Once you've done that, we can now write, read and write. So I'll just quickly write to the radio because I just made a couple of changes. Um, I think I'll show you the extended functions first. So this is APRS. Now I've started adding stuff in. I've turned it on. I've put in call sign and SSID. Uh, I've left the symbol default. Uh, police sheriff. I don't think I want that one. So hmm, car. There's one there saying car. Okay. Uh, ho horse it's got all the different ones there um where is it bicycle there. let's do bicycle i've written wide one for path i tend to find it's wide one then wide two dash two but mm, that's not going in but you've got this here path two we've got this count not sure what that means um and then APRS receive and transmit I've put on A G mode because you can put fix you can type your location but I've put in G GPS and it was getting a lock earlier if you go outside and I've actually put TX data upload RX data upload not sure if that even needs to be on I've added a message there uh, and re uh report mileage gonna go on this is just more information I think that's it's going to go on path count. I don't really know what that is. You see, Mike E. I don't really know what that means. On demod tone, I'd rather hear everything so I don't know it's working. Digi one on off. That's a Digi Peter setting. Never use Digi Peters. And and so on. So that's the settings we got there. Calibrate radio time. Does it pick that up? From what I don't know uh, zones so yeah you can put say we call this zone here on zone one let's call it my channels my channels then when you select zone on the radio pressing the hash only the channels in that zone will show up now at the moment all the channels that look like looking at this they're in all the zones 
Oh, they, no, they're not. I'm lying. The only one that's got zones in is actually number one. So let's say number two, you call that air band. Yeah, and then I could just put air band in there. Not sure why that's Chinese, but anyway, you get the idea and you could call this one PMR. And you could put a PMR one in there, but you still have to go back to channels and create a PMR. So if we just go here, just four, four, six, just just for test purposes. There's a PMR, call it PMR. OK, like so. And then go back to the zones and the one that we called or we didn't do it so PMR. Oh, I think you have to make sure you've put something in there, I think, and then go to this one and put it in there. We've now got a PMR zone with one channel in, but of course you're going to have more channels. There's my device. Haven't changed a thing there, but it does say you can put the radio name and call sign. So I'm going to go M0FXBA and rest. You can put a boot pick in. I've done it before. <coughs> it's not hard to do. Uh, image, there it is there. Import. I managed to get one in there. I can't, I had to make, I'm pretty sure I had to make it. So let's just choose one. No. Yeah, you got to be careful because sometimes when you try and do something it doesn't like doing, it will freeze up, but it didn't actually. Did it freeze up? No. Zone, FM, DTMF. You can put in presets, time, extend. We, and then extends also got GPS look. You've got all this. So yeah, there's a bit of a learning to making sure you get it on APRS. Read and write port, you can go file, save, which we've been doing, just save to a memory, uh, like so, and then save it and give it a name. And you can open that as well. About says which software we've got. There's probably going to be some new software. Read and write, or oh, you've got read and write here, port about open. I think that's about it. So we're just going to now write that to the radio. Of course, you need the cable selected and connected to your PC. And I think the radio only does something when it right at the end, it will reboot. I did revert to the cable that I made because the one in the box, I couldn't get it working. I might have to change it. So it reboots. We're in full band mode, and that means you hold, when you turn it on, you hold down the down arrow. Full band mode means you can put CB on the A band, two meters on the B, and so on. So if we go to channel mode, go down to number one. There's HubNet. There's my APRS. Now I'm not expecting it to work yet because. Um, but I'll send some APRS at the end of this video now just to see what happens. I don't, not expecting anything. Let's have a look. Let's see, we need to turn that on. Go to APRS and turn it on. I'm on the FT5, by the way. APRS modem. It is on. Not sure if it will transmit without a GPS lock. Um, yeah, let me just get a lock a minute. If you look here and we hold down the six, I set a button. There's our GPS. We definitely got a lock. And look, if you look next to it, the FT5 still hasn't got a lock yet. That's interesting, isn't it? So. It's working really well and all the menus of course for uh, APRS and GPS are in, in the extended menu section. Go down, extended, it's there look. And APRS. Oh, well, I think we'll do more tests. Fun trying. And uh, once I get it working it's going to work you can tell that they might have to do some new software and firmware but in the end they'll get it working bye for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe if you haven't already stay healthy and um hit the like bye for now seven three